المواجهة رح تكون خيالية اليوم رح تكون آخر مواجهة بهالليلة. And last minute instruction from our head official Mark Goddard and it's time to go to war. Davi Ramos, Davy Ramos, tomato, tomato, taking on the very talented Nick Piedmont. It is your MMA main event in the lightweight division, and round one is underway in the all-black tights. It is Nick Piedmont, no limit, taking on in the black with the decals, Davy Ramos. Trying to fight the distance. Gotta believe that David Ramos is gonna try to take this thing down at some point. Very, very talented on the ground. Four out of five wins by submission. He knows how to get that tap out. Nick Piedmont, very durable though. Very impressive record. Has been up and down the road. Has had some big fights and still only 27 years old. Filling out process here is Davy Ramos hangs out there right in the middle of the cage. Now remember, Nick Piedmont has that range. If he's able to utilize that and circle, that could work to his advantage. Alliance MMA is sending out some of their best. Just a tough, tough battle there by Matt Sales that just went down. It didn't go his way. You got to believe the group there at Alliance MMA would love to see a victory here in the main event with Nick No Limit Piedmont. Both men traveling quite a while just to get here. Ramos coming from Brazil. Piedmont coming all the way from California. So both had quite the trek to get here. Both seem pretty focused at the weigh-ins and, and prior to the fight as we see Ramos continuing to throw that jab out there, unable to connect. But both seem very focused. They didn't seem too affected by the lag. They had a little bit of time in Lebanon to get accustomed and I think that helped. That being said, that big of a time difference will throw your sleep off in a big, big way. Take it from somebody that does this type of trip on a regular basis, it's not easy to deal with. Nick Piedmont trying to get to the center of the cage here and maybe employ a little bit of offense. He's gonna have to circle and he's gonna have to stay out of the way of that big right hand from Davy Ramos. He has some serious power in those mitts. See, Ramos keeps teasing it. He's swung and missed a number of times, but if he connects, he still has a lot of power and a lot of energy right now. It's going to do some serious damage. We keep things rolling here for round number one, MMA main event. Remember, folks, we still have our main event of the evening, Muay Thai action featuring the one and only superstar that is Bukau. This is Phoenix FC, and we hope you're following along online on through our social media. Let everybody know you're watching Phoenix number one, hashtag Phoenix one. Unable to connect here is Nick Piedmont. He's throwing out a lot of strikes, but he just has not established that range yet. Hasn't got his timing quite down yet. Same with Davey Ramos. The only difference is Davey Ramos seems to be moving forward a bit more now on his back. When it's a stalemate like this, sometimes it's the more aggressive fighter that's going to get credit. Neither one has really committed to any sort of strike or any sort of takedown attempt. Just been a lot of uh, a lot of sparring here at this point. Oh, and here we go. Here comes that takedown attempt from Davey Ramos. Tried to get the double leg. He hits a big right hand, is able to get it to the ground. Now he has one hook in, and just like that, in a matter of seconds, he has the back, both hooks in on Nick Piedmont. That could be trouble. You look at the power, the stature of a guy like Davey Ramos. Has huge arms. Might be a little difficult to get underneath the chin of Nick Piedmont as he's trying very, very hard right now to get under that chin and finish this fight off quickly. Could it be another round one finish for Davy Ramos? Nick Piedmont in survival mode right now. Not a stranger to this position. He's been here before. Has got out of these many times in his career. I had a chance to watch some video on Piedmont. And this is a guy that's very durable. Does not get tapped out easily. Does not give up easily. Got to get credit for the 
the folks with the brass ring for bringing in these high level fighters both for Muay Thai and for MMA as you see it right here it's been a clash of styles you've seen matchups that have gone the distance just because these guys are so talented the elite type of athletes Ramos wants to end this thing but is unable to sink in that choke Piedmont just not giving it great submission defense that's going to be it. That's it for round number one, a very eventful round, which saw Davy Ramos uh, most likely cinching that round. See Claudio Cesario fanning him off. But most likely he cinched that round with that submission attempt at the end for nearly a minute. He had the back of Nick Piedmont and no limit or not he had no answer was able to fend off the choke but Piedmont did not end the round in great style as you see the coaches from Alliance speaking to Nick Piedmont right now and possibly trying to get him to reset maybe take a new strategy in there against Davey Ramos and maybe utilize that striking a bit more if he can get the range if he can really get his location down Nick Piedmont could work that jab and really use his strikes to his advantage. Problem is right now, he hasn't got that timing down yet, and he hasn't got his range down yet. Not a lot of connections by Nick Piedmont in round number one. Davy Ramos, look at the eyes of that man. He is absolutely shredded up. What a big dude at lightweight. And right to it, Davy Ramos. Teasing the jab, trying to set up a combination, and most likely trying to get in there for that takedown. He already seen that he can take the back quite easily on Nick Piedmont, so don't be surprised if he tries to do it again. See, I'm sitting cage side here, and you can almost feel the wind, you know, coming off the fists of Davy Ramos every time he throws one of those big strikes that just misses. And you instantly know if he connects, if he can hit it on the button, Nick Piedmont will most likely be taking an early nap this evening. Phoenix FC, a vision by so many men here in Lebanon, able to put on an elite event with not only Muay Thai, which is very beloved here in the region, is really catching on, but MMA as well. And right now you have one of the biggest organizations in all of the Middle East. And they, uh, they're they going to rise quickly. You can already tell with this sort of production that they're on that upper echelon. Big right hand that did sneak through for Ramos. Piedmont unable to answer. Nick Piedmont, great movement, great feints. The only problem is he's not able to connect. We haven't seen really any significant strikes by Nick No Limit Piedmont. Now going to the body with that kick. And it's like he just has to get a little bit more closer and he has to commit with the punches. It is USA versus Brazil. We've seen that so many times in the MMA world. We've seen it go both ways. How's it going to go this time? So interesting, we look at the MMA landscape. You know, Brazil, basically the home of MMA, where it all got started with the jiu-jitsu background. And then, you know, as of late, so many big stars have come out of the U.S. just in the past two decades, and they've kind of evened the score a bit. And then, of course, the international community is picking up steam as we speak. But these two powerhouses in the MMA community going after each other, and a big right hand from Ramos. He landed one, was unable to follow it up. But nice shots by Davy Ramos. Piedmont unable to touch glove to any part of the body at this point. Almost like a shadow boxing session, just unable to connect on Davy Ramos to see absolutely no damage, really on either fighter. But at some point with it being over the halfway point of the round, you gotta believe you're gonna try to go for that takedown and at least cinch on those points. We haven't seen much of the ground game of Piedmont. He hasn't really gone for any takedowns. But something's going to have to give here in this filling out process, this jockeying in position. Switching stances, Davy Ramos. 
So many great fighters coming out of that Team Nagara camp and, of course, out of Brazil in general. He has clasped his hands, and can he slam him to the ground? Can he use that power and drag him to the ground? Davey Ramos nearly had the back. Now separates and hits a right hand. Great takedown defense by Nick Piedmont. Can he capitalize? Big head kick. Just grazed the head of Davey Ramos. That could be the most significant strike from Piedmont in this fight. Nice left hand, switching stances, goes Davy Ramos again. Ramos appears to be in control after a nice round in round one. Seems to have landed more significant strikes. Can he cinch it with another takedown late in the round? You gotta believe his corner is gonna tell him to do so. They mean so much in a stalemate fight like this. Oh, and he baited him in. It appeared that maybe he had something in his eye. Nick Piedmont charges in and nearly got caught with a huge right hand. It looks like there might be an issue here. I don't know if it was a potential eye poke or possibly just something with his eye. We're not really sure here. It's hard to tell exactly what went down, but Mark Goddard brings them back together, makes sure everything is okay for Davy Ramos. And we're back to action. The big overhand right just misses. If it connects, could be lights out or at least do significant damage. 27 years old for Piedmont, 30 years old for Ramos. Two men in their prime. Two different fighting styles and, and two different body types here. As you have that short, stocky, powerful style. And that's round two. And that was pretty much a stalemate. You had a nice head kick from Piedmont that snuck in there but maybe a little bit more action from Ramos in round number two. Did he do enough to take yet another round? And if so, what kind of pressure is gonna be on Nick Piedmont here in round number three? Third and final round coming up here is our beautiful Phoenix girls. Continue to entertain here in the intervals. Glad to have everybody watching around the world here to Phoenix FC. Taking a look at the replay. Wasn't a whole lot to see in this one. Little outside leg kick for Ramos. Nice shot to the body by Ramos, and we may get to see that head kick. And there we get it. You see him cinching in the back there. Another outside leg kick for Ramos. And great action by Ramos. A lot of aggressiveness, as you see from the replay. And Nick Piedmont. He's going to have to get fired up here, and he's going to have to go into desperation mode and, and really go for some significant strikes, possibly try to get any sort of knockdown, takedown, to maybe even this thing up. I think he's down two rounds. That being said, I don't get paid to judge, only to commentate the fights. So don't take my word for it. Piedmont continues to move. Oh, and there we go. Nice jab. Finally starting to find its way to the face of Davy Ramos. And could that range be there now? If so, can he put together enough strikes to make a difference? Ramos has been relatively untouched the entire fight. And just charges forward, man. Just stalking forward is Davy Ramos not giving up any sort of ground right now. Outside leg kick, he's continued to beat up on the legs. You can see them getting a little red there up on the left thigh of Nick No Limit Piedmont. Nice combination by Piedmont. Nick has to start blocking those kicks. Working the jab, Nick Piedmont. Davy Ramos swings and misses. It has to be time. His coach is yelling for him to get moving. Piedmont is going to have to turn on the gas, turn on the afterburners here and, and fight forward. He is going to have to throw some big strikes and leave a little caution to the wind if he wants any chance to win this fight. I feel like he's down to two rounds. And at this point, within reason, it has to be anything goes. We've seen Nick Piedmont do it before. He has those, he has those finishes on his record. It's definitely... Not that he can't do it. He has a nice TKO by stoppage, actually two, three in his career. So it's not that he can't outpower 
these fighters he can definitely do it at four or five actually in the career of Nick Piedmont well if he's going to do it he's going to have to really put some hands on the face or throw a big kick here to change the outcome of this fight moving forward though not wasting any time here is Piedmont but he's going to have to throw some big strikes and in volume so exhilarating to be at the beginning of anything and anytime a fight promotion pops up the magnitude and with the buzz of Phoenix fighting championships it makes it that much better and you know I've said it a number of times in this broadcast but you know the hype and the buzz all around Beirut for this event the billboards everywhere and everybody's piled into the stadium this is what it's all about and it doesn't hurt that in your main event you have the biggest Muay Thai superstar on the planet Bukal Banchamek in the main event tonight, taking on his Russian counterpart in what should be an incredible matchup. Setting up a kick, nice switch kick there by Nick Piedmont, but just not enough to slow down this Brazilian who continues to move forward. Now has Piedmont moving back on his back feet and Not really the uh, blockbuster smash main event that we were hoping for. These two kind of playing a little bit safe here. You know, with the takedown and the wrestling ability of Ramos, you, be you should believe that he'd be able to get this takedown, take it to the ground and finish it. But I think he feels strongly enough that he can coast to a decision victory and make it an easy night. Still swinging and missing. These guys could easily go into a five-round fight. And I think that's what the folks wouldn't mind seeing is a five-round fight. Pushing forward. Davey Ramos, a big right hand. That staggered him. Nice shot, Nick Piedmont. He felt that one, the right hook, really starting to land for Davey Ramos. Can the Brazilian close the book on this fight? What a battle between Davey Ramos and Nick Piedmont. Both men coming to bang, but just not, just not committing to the strikes, not going for the takedowns as much as we'd like to see. As everybody here wants to see a finish here in Beirut, Lebanon. They piled into this stadium for a reason. Circling, circling as Piedmont finally Ramos gets a hold of him. Outside leg kick. Oh, and here he comes for the finish. Big right hand moving forward. Now leaving nothing to chance. Another right hand. And Davy Ramos is putting a beating on Nick Piedmont. And that is it. Round is over. He slaps the hand of Nick Piedmont. And how about that? What a battle there. And that final 20 seconds was absolutely intense. Nick Piedmont thinks he won this fight. It's going to be tough. It is not going to be an easy decision to pick Piedmont here. Did he do enough? We had some pretty up and down rounds here, and Piedmont had a lot of movement, but just not a lot of strikes landing. Ramos there right at the end. You see the show of respect. They slapped each other's hands away right at the end of the fight, I think still in that Warriors mentality. But once they came down off that high, now they can shake hands, they can show love, they can be martial artists. And now it's going to come down to the judges once again who is going to take home the victory in the main event, our MMA main event of Phoenix FC. You see that takedown attempt, which set up a huge right hand. Exploding forward, we saw Davey Ramos. And here we go again. Big kick to the body. Another right hand grazes. And we saw flashes of some real explosiveness from Davey Ramos. And this is a guy that I would love to see again. Piedmont put on a nice performance, but just not uh, appealing to the eye. As you can see, that championship belt, that lightweight championship belt, about to be presented to the winner of this fight. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be Davy Ramos? Is it going to be the very tough Nick Piedmont? 
We're about to find out official decision. Who to see you takes home the gold? Grant Waterman. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the championship belt for this contest is Jahei Yaravinian, the president of Phoenix Fighting Championships. هذا الحزام هذا الحزام اللي وزن 70 كيلو جرام والله اللي هيتوج اول بطل هنشوف مين اللي هيكون بطل وزن 70 كيلو جرام. After three championship rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to the judges' scorecards and we have a unanimous decision in favor of your winner and a new Phoenix Fighting Championships. Lightweight Mixed Martial Arts World Champion from Brazil! That's a beautiful piece of gold. Our president handing it over, and what a historical night in our main event, Davy Ramos taking home the gold, ladies and gentlemen. A championship bout. Worthy of a main event, Davy Ramos did what he was supposed to do. He went all three rounds, but he had some nice highlights in between and definitely deserving of that championship gold. What a showing here by Davy Ramos, a very incredible performance here, and now we have a new lightweight champion. And he's going to be a tough one to beat here in Phoenix FC, Davy Ramos. Really showing us what he's made of, and he is on top of the MMA game and the lightweight division. Who's going to be his first challenger? Make sure you stay tuned to Phoenix Fighting Championships to find that out. And we got more to come here. We got two more huge fights. This is Phoenix FC from Beirut, Lebanon.